Hello and welcome everybody, I am One Proud Bavarian and this is the Empire of Jerusalem, founded by Empress Ida the Glorious, indeed. Glorious she is. She has created an empire that if I had the choice, and I really mean that, if I had the choice, right, if I didn't go for the achievement of the Empire of the Utrema, I would stop right here. These are gorgeous borders. These are so beautiful. Look at it. It's just like it's it's the historical borders of the Mamluks and it just it looks so nice. But that won't be enough because as you will be able to see right here. This is the region we need. So that would be the Kingdom of Iraq. Al Jazeera, Syria, Jerusalem, the Sinai, Arabia and Yemen. So that is exactly what we're going for. And uh, I sadly can't stop here. I would love to stop there. Believe me, okay? Believe me when I say that. On another note, uh, maybe I was the one to marry them here, but I don't think so. I don't think I marry these people. I think that is the doing of this young man, which I'm honestly okay with, very much okay with. Uh, he appears to, you know, be in the right set of mind. We also do not need a matrilineal transfer because this one transfers both ways, but this one only matrilineally. So a matrilineal transfer here is literally ideal. In the meantime, our heir, Princess Anna is uh, indeed giving her stuff away we <coughs> what happened to jordan <laughs> oh what happened there right after i told margareta it was time to head on home she looked at me with a grin on her face and told me to race her home leaving me to carry everything on my own i will race her this young swedish bastard girl whoever impregnated her what a shame what a shame indeed we shattered the fatimids in the last crusade uh, and while they are still holding on to the Sultan of Arabia and Yemen, they barely hold anything in it, so maybe they're gonna get completely ousted here by the Seljuks soon. We could go for this region here, but I'm not really that interested. Also, apparently they are already going for Nobatia. Right, I remember that. They're, they're going for Nobatia, that's fine. I think we want to go for Tripoli, uh, Tripoli here to secure the trade and everything that comes with it. Uh, I'm also... Very happy. I don't know how I did it. It's always so hard to usually get into that stuff. But since we have vice royalties, the kingdoms, we I don't think we will ever run into any trouble because Egypt is just a vice royalty kingdom. It is it is gorgeous. Very, very good. And we're going to declare war for Tripoli right here. So just so that we connect our land and get what is the Jura ours. Let's just head straight in. And by God, we truly have so many troops. Incredible. Absolute insanity. Now what are you doing? Look at the, the Caliph. The Caliph is gathering his troops. For what purpose, I must ask? Subjugation war. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Brilliant strategist. Jeanne de Bologna. Heir or not heir, but claimant to the Kingdom of France. She shall marry somebody that is... Ooh, Ivar. He's a bit older. I don't think really that makes a lot of sense to marry her to him. Ulf. You know Ulf, actually. He's of the dynasty Ingling, but he is a bastard. And he was born out of wedlock, and for that, I don't think we should have her marry him. Barcelona. What about... Ooh, look at Trigve. If he wasn't so stupid, I would be all over that. Ooh, a bastard of the Komnenos dynasty, huh? That is more than fascinating. Ultra Jordan, Marshal of Pomerania, they're also low level here, Asturias, De Bologna, ooh, you know what, maybe some more intermarriage, can't hurt, right? Oh, we could marry Gargamel, that's interesting, I'm gonna do that, of course there is some uh, <coughs> incest involved here, but at the same time, that is pretty cool. Alright, let's keep walking here. And start sieging them down left and right, wherever we can, because that is just the way we go. Now the Fatimids are coming here. I assume they're going to fight you. They're probably actually going to crush you. Huh? My liege, I have a great idea for a monument. Right. Raise your monument. I will give you the money. And you shall show me what you had in mind once you're done. Ah, uh, this is going to be, yeah. Uh, we're, we're too far away to take care of that, so not really an option here for us. How's this going? All right. Well, this this war will be over so so quickly. Jesus. Ooh, and there loses. Egypt just <laughs> lost like almost all of its army. Stunning and brave. Dying for no reason whatsoever. Still don't have a designated region. That's okay though. 
Do we now own everything up here? Uh, controller, I mean, nope, not yet. Still two to go. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the holy order here, of course. Then I'm gonna order all of these to beat up some Fatimids. You want peace, huh? Nah. Because I need to slaughter your army. And you know it. Oh, they're getting away with two. Nice, I got him. That's gonna be a river pe crossing penalty. But look at this. We're just tearing through them. And by tearing through them, are you still at war with them? Yes, you are indeed. We brought them down to a very, very extraordinarily low level. Maybe this will help our vessel here. Although I kind of doubt it. You know, it's always the same. It's just never... They're too weak. They're just too weak. And they can't resist dying. Ooh, what do we have here? Ah, oh, that's not worth an... What is this? What, are the, what is a silly uh, coalition over there? Uh, could I offer you vassalization? I could. I mean, it's just going to say no, but I could do it, theoretically. Maybe the new duke that I will name in a second here shall announce that he wants to go for war over it. I'd be thankful for that. You know, it's, it's always a good thing. How are we doing on the status of war, by the way? It's so tough to get you know, the tolerance level up high enough to actually go through with any of that. Let's go with Siege and then Light Infantry, sure. Look at her, she's a genius and pregnant. Wish that was me. I will give you Baalbek. And I will give you... Tripoli. And then of course I shall... You know, he's ambitious, but I'm, I'm honestly fine with that. He's an ambitious man. And I hope that that means that he... Hey, excuse me? I hope that that means that he will go and... I keep misclicking. That he will go and conquer some land. It should be ours. Alright, look at those borders. Gorgeous. So we have generated a bit of a threat here. Sultan Ramazan is, however, in no position to actually oppose us. Mm. Who was born? Ah, some random woman that I have no idea about. What else is going on in the world? You know, I, I look around so often, so let's take some time here. Castile is reconquering Iberia. What was once Christian shall be Christian again. Ah, Princess Anna had another kid and it was a girl, so that is good. That's perfectly fine. You'll be educated and struggle, of course, as all women should be in this dynasty. How's the Kingdom of France going? Still in power? Yep. Queen Anna. Very nice job. Artois. Yeah, the, the House de Bologna, I think, is holding its ground very well in Europe. Oh, you have the Kingdom of Thrace now. Interesting. The Dokas dynasty founded it. Humania is being destroyed. I think Elenia has fallen. Oh, was that the message that I clicked away? Did I click away a message? Was that the other playthrough? You know what? I don't remember. But Alania doesn't exist anymore. That was the goal. Shia. Xia. Don't even know how to pronounce it, I'll be honest with you. How's our retinue looking? Ooh. You're looking much better. I think, yeah, they're just gonna lose this really badly. Gains the trade, celibate. Good trade. That means I can marry again. Oh, you can't marry. Okay. So if I were, if I had been married at the time, then I could have enjoyed the bonuses of a partner without the drawbacks of getting kids that I don't want at the time. What we are going to do next, and this is radical, this is a very radical step, but I, uh, step, but I think we're gonna go, just go for hedges. Because we want their holy sites, obviously. And with their holy sites, we are essentially killing their faith. Now, if that doesn't sound like a goal, then I don't know what does. I like, by the way, I've gotten so many comments, so, so many comments in regards to France. And there's some interesting approaches, you know. Uh, it's just... It's not even in my hands. I thought it would be, you know, like with the inheritance relationship. But now it's just cool. We have a dynasty member in France. And I had nothing to do with it. They just got there. Baron Hussein of Schwa has been murdered by me. Although it's not murder, I suppose. Lift excommunication, request claim. Does he have anything that I find interesting? Not really. 
request invasion. Ooh, now he says no. I will get rid of these people. Wait until midnight. Alright, there you go. Kicked them out again. Just like we did it the first time. Is this hospital fully done? Yes. Is this trade post fully done? No. What about this trade post? Okay. Mm what about this one? No. There you go. Alright, can I build up anything here anymore? I mean, nothing too interesting. Let's get some more heavy cavalry, I guess. But it's not really uh, that big of a concern. And as you can see, just to show it again, completely controls the region of Near East. And the Near East is this region. There you go. Yeah. We, we already looked at it. I just want to show it off again to make it clear. And with Xena in our hands, our only route of expansion now is East. And, ooh, look at that. Karakant. Karakanid, sorry, is, is quite big. Way bigger than I anticipated. They are Ikta. They're not going to migrate over here anytime soon. But they are a threat to every good Christian, if you ask me. Princess Ida of France. What is she here? Hmm. Sure, I'll go to Croatia. Man, I don't know. Empress Ida doesn't have all that many... Uh, what's the opposite of a vice? She doesn't have all that many... <laughs> virtues. That's the word. She doesn't have all that many virtues. However, she is a really good character. If she doesn't get at least beatified, I would be quite disappointed. Because look at what she's done. Then again, she has gone against the Pope when she took Egypt for herself after the Last Crusade. Which, of course, is something that the Pope doesn't like to see all that often. But I mean, who wouldn't have done it, right? Who wouldn't have done it? People are happy and tax collectors are reporting good news, everyone. Did I kill this man? No. When is this? 11.43. I've looked it up like a several times, but... What happened to Ukraine? Ruthenia, I mean, sorry. Mm. Eh, not really interested in any of these. Maybe trade practices, actually. You know what? Let's have a look here. Yeah, boy, we can upgrade this. I hope. I think we should be able now. Do that. The student of Karak seeks to kill... Ooh. Oh, he's Egyptian. Are you Irish? Oh, he's Outremer. I guess he was Irish at some point. Who's Alphonse? Wait, what? You know what? I'm confused. I'm not going to look at that any longer. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and do this, because this is a huge investment that will bring us so much money. Ah, beautiful. And maybe we should actually go with the uh, uh, ambition to be at peace for five years. Oh, I thought the game crashed. Alright, fair enough, you know what? Should have, shouldn't have clicked that, uh, so often. What else is going on? Abyssinia is very, very big. Wow, how did they do it? Oh, they are Muslims. Ah, uh, I thought they were still Nestorians. That would have been cool. A noble by the name of L Song Liangxi came to our court today seeking asylum. He claims to have escaped from China after the rest. We've seen this before. I will send the Emperor of China a letter. I'm also insane, everybody. Alright, sometimes you just gotta go insane. Dong Yangshi has passed away. Damn. Got a lot of tributaries, actually. Ooh, the entire kingdom of Gondwana. Way smaller than I had anticipated, but look at that. Almost all of central India. Uh, India is under the control of the Chinese. Damn. I really didn't expect that. Put you in power. Even if you're terrible, it doesn't really matter to me. Excuse me? It's got a Discord. Did you see that? Oh, writing your Discord. Heavy SEO. Who I totally don't know very well. Um, I think we're going to just... You know, stay around, be a bit at peace, maybe, just maybe, try to get our tolerance up. The tolerance, Jesus Christ! <laughs> What's this one, right? Shit, I have to look again. Sorry, I, I completely skipped over it. Yeah, Mandyapura, okay. You head over to... Fuck, um, we'll be fine. You head over there and take a look if you can't find out what the secret of letting women rule is. Not that I would know, as... The woman empress of Jerusalem. There's a lot of people in our pact against us. I don't like it. 
He's from China. Mm -hmm. Did I give you anything, my man? Maybe we should kowtow over to them. I was thinking about that. There you go. Oh, and he, in the meantime, has become... No, he's just count. Right. What's France doing? Queen Ida is defending for Seville, but that's not against her, so I'm not even going to bother joining that. Lose the trade zealots, absolutely not. Right. Uh, ba -ba -ba. For whom the bell tolls. <laughs> oh, this event. It, it brings me actual PTSD flashbacks. More often than not, you retreat to your chambers in the evening feeling exhausted and weary. Tonight is no exception. Falling asleep is usually easy after a long and taxing day, however recently sleep seems to elude you. You're sitting in your study, idly moving chess pieces on the board before you, sipping a glass of wine hoping that it shall give you the rest you seek. Suddenly, someone knocks. Someone knocks. Who could it be at this hour? Before you can shout at the intruder to leave you alone, the door opens and Adalbert strides in. Good evening, my lady. I realize that I never introduced myself properly. I am death, and I am here to collect you. A dagger is glinting in his hand. So we let him in, we let him sit and live with us, and this is how he thanks us. I challenge you to game of chess, my friend. Adalbert raises an eyebrow and amused look on his face. Why not? I have to I have all the time in the world. Though you are simply postponing the inevitable leader, for you are sure to lose. He settles in the chair opposite your, of your own and places the dagger on the table, black or white. Take the white pieces because I need every advantage I need. Uh, I can get. Uh, battle after battle, siege after siege. My friend was pre. Who are you fighting? Nah, I'm not gonna help him. White, yes, you will need all the help you can get, Adalbert says with a grin. What is your strategy for the first part of the game? Well, I think we should play very aggressively because that's just the kind of leader we are. While Adalbert is certainly an accomplished player, you managed to capture a few more pieces than him during the first part of the game. You do not look like uh, you do not like the look on his face, however. Thank God for my good fortune. Please let it continue. The game continues in silence as both of you are fully focused on your next move. At the moment, the game seems even. At least you think it does. What is the next move? <sighs> I'm not going to cheat. Never have you met such a tenacious, unnerving opponent, and never have so mu has so much been at stake. The game is nearing its end, and it's looking grim indeed. Adalbert is playing with your captured queen, smiling confidently. I could be persuaded to return this to you for the right price. Absolutely not. I'm not gonna sacrifice my daughter here. I'm gonna play as her. I put my trust in my skill indeed. Well, during your last few moves, it feels as if time is standing still. Your thoughts are muddled, moving slowly as if through a thick syrup. Random, disjointed thoughts flash through your mind. Places, uh, places you once visited. Old friends you have ne not seen in years. Dreams you give up on, gave up on. Jesus, English. Can't speak it. So many loose ends, and now it might be too late to pick them up again. Checkmate. Your head snaps back up. Your eyes locking with Adal bats. For the first time this evening, you can really see it. And it chills you to your core. The figure before you is not an ordinary man. Not a man at all. This is death, and he just won. It is time then, Ida. He sighs contently. The endless rest awaits. The gaff in the chat. A disturbed person, Ida was known throughout her lands as a raving mad woman. Many are cautiously rejoicing at the news of her death. Empress Anna, being a talented military tactician, we expect her to lead us to many victories on the fields of battle. Long live Empress Anna. Long may she reign indeed. Now, I'm going to name war as our most important factor here, as I always do. I do not want to groom an heir because that gives us more potential for a child, which I don't really want. We want to become exalted among men. What about that, huh? What can we do here? We need a coronation ceremony, without a doubt. And only the f the Pope shall uh, crown me. Yeah, absolutely. Let's have our focus here. And the council's just gone in. How's everybody feeling? Quite alright, in all honesty. I'm going to name the Duke of Galilee our vassal over here. And then we shall go on to be crowned. As Queen of Syria, Queen of Jerusalem, and Empress of Jerusalem. Blah, blah, you must deliver back under papal control some Italian lands being withheld by a wicked ruler against their wishes. A clear violation of the sacred agreement between Emperor Pepin, uh, Pepin and Pope Stephanus II. You know, this is actually kind of cool. 
shall have your lands back. Start a war in Italy on behalf of the Papal State. On victory, the Pope will crown you. You know what? Let's do it. For Ancona. Oh, that's going to be disconnected, but you know what? We're going to do it. And we're going to win. How much money are you making? 21? We're making 60. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, like, he was a friend with our mother as well, so I might as well be a friend uh, of his. So let's go out, and for the first time in a long time. Could we, you think we can raise him? I'm gonna raise him and see if they will actually fight with us or not. We'll have to see. Pope Honorios, we can call him in. Yeah, we're gonna fucking slice and dice our enemies here. But I will hire some mercs just to make sure. Always wanna make sure, if possible, you know, that's... You gotta, you gotta be very, very, uh staunch on that topic I feel I hope we have enough troops as well Jesus uh, enough enough ships I mean because we, we can't use those obviously there's no Suez Canal although I wish there was Your wisdom and mercy are great right I don't think I want you even now Battle of Andernach what did I Oh, I must have raised some troops of my orders up there because I do have uh, one of my orders. We don't have enough ships, huh? Jesus. Really just don't have enough ships. Right, in that case, I mean, what do you want me to say? I send like a few people and then another few and then the rest can go in the second load. Oh, there you go. I just I just park me in the papacy. Apparently, I can't park my ships in the papacy despite being allies. What gives? Right, time to land over here. I will fight in rough terrain. I love fighting in rough terrain. So you know, I pick that trait almost all of the time. And here's why: I would never, I would under no circumstances ever take a fight. A, hey, what are you doing here, buddy? I would never take a fight in the mountains. There is no point to taking a fight in the mountains unless you defend. And if you defend, you don't need the bonus. We all, you already won. It's already over. You're done. Right, let's have me, uh, have me like a look. Have me look. I can't speak today. Let me have a look here because um, what are our modifiers? 92% against... Man, we lost out here on our old queen. But we still trashed the HRE. And then we captured some random man. I think I'm just gonna go into the port right here and immediately sail away. There you go. Right. Go to Ancona. Deal with them. Now they there are obviously still enemy troops here in our lands now, but they are they're fucked. I mean, what are they gonna do? Really? Ancona shall be the Pope's. Oh, I don't want to be there. Yikes. And Kona shall belong to the Pope, for it is his rightful claim to hold the Kingdom of Romagna. Right here. I kind of hate that uh, he indeed went on to, like, take the duchy that is the worst because it's disconnected. But what can you do? We hold the Barony of Megadel, huh? Hmm, why would I hold that? This dude probably hates me for it. I'm gonna grant you the Barony of Magdal. God bless. Right. Did he have Magdal? I don't think he did. But now that we don't have a husband, I think we are in a great position, just like earlier. Because now we don't have to worry about, you know, everything going wrong if we get a son. Should start reading the book or go. No, no, we're gonna go for a hunt, mate. I'm already depressed. <laughs> Poetry is safer, let's try that instead. Alright. Fair enough. Too afraid of birds. Birds can be quite uh, quite scary. You know, I would love to have a bird. Ooh, you've converted it. I would love to have a bird. Uh, one of the bigger ones. But then again, they're like actual little children. It's very tough to not go insane after a while of having one or more birds. I think I'm good at the end of the day. We're now a poet. Nice. I welcome it. Still sitting at 99%, huh? Hmm. Why? Still 99%, huh? Oh, there you go. 
We surrender. Oh, I didn't even realize that I was the war leader, but there you go. Constantly thinking of me. I didn't credit it when my maid claimed to have had the Duke Joseline can't sleep because he's constantly thinking of me. And now all my friends are saying it too. Ooh, how flattering. What a nice young man. Now that I have distinguished... Uh, I have a distinguished member of the Catholic clergy to officiate my coronation. I must decide how much I wish to spend on the ceremony leading up to it. Right, I clicked one event away that was like, yeah, you won the war, mate. But just for your information, we won the war, mate. Everybody get on the boats. I think we can do it in one go. Only a few more days remain before I'm crowned empress before God and all my subjects. My court is filling with distinguished guests, both vassals and foreign dignitaries. Come to bear witness to this fundamental moment of my reign. Such a lavish ceremony is rare, is a rare spectacle, a spectacle to behold even amongst royalty. This morning, a curious visitor came to my court. He's a wandering knight. No. I do not know you. My mother got murdered by some random man. We're not going to do it. My heart beats faster as Count Amory. Are they all trying to seduce me? Of Baalbek grabs me for another dance. The hour is getting late, but the man is such a charmer. I must be blushing like a beetroot. Show him some cleavage. This morning, a curious... What? Mm, don't like you. Oh, you're actually very pious. Very good, man. I'm gonna gonna get him. The night's merrymaking is coming to an end. Amory nods towards my rather inebriated attendant. You won't even notice us leaving. He grins lasciously, lasciviously, and pats me on the tr on the rump. You know what? I gotta stop recording for today after this episode because I can't read. Sweet temptation. Yes, absolutely. Let's have a memorable night. It's good to be empress. I kneel before Pope Honorius III as a host of vassals surrounds us in complete silence. The Pope blesses me before placing the imperial crown upon my head and proclaiming me Empress of Jerusalem by grace of God. Go, oh, boys. Been declared. Seduction in the wild. Everybody. Oh, this is Jocelyn again. My maid will cover for me. Cannot resist. Yeah, we'll go into the warm water with you, young man. And I'm pregnant. <laughs> Pregnancies come with considerable risks. Now that I'm with child, I ought to appoint a regent who can take over if anything should happen to me. So. Princess Ida. Hey, stop that. Hey, pause the game. The game doesn't listen to me today. She's a claim on Galicia. Interesting. Right, then let's get rid of the fleets here and we're good to go. I... Oh, are you kidding me? What is this supposed to be? You only got those two? This game sometimes is just upsetting me in a major way. Uh, that's very ugly borders, don't look at that. I will see you and I will see my new bastard child tomorrow in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in. Let's have the rebel have some fun. Later, alligator.